Open RAN is an emerging technology option for mobile network operators around the world and is supported by an increasing number of those operators, industry organizations, and of course, technology developers. And one of the technology companies that is developing and promoting Open RAN systems is NEC. And I'm talking today with Rahul Chandra, the company's Vice President of Global 5G Business Development. So Rahul, thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about NEC and the suite of solutions you're calling NEC Open Networks? Yes, hi Ray, good to see you again, and um, thanks for the invite. Um, NEC is a 120-year-old uh, company that has been serving carriers and enterprises um, for multiple types of um, solutions. And this is really relevant for the 5G market as carriers deploy new networks and look to monetize uh, those networks. Uh, what we have introduced as part of NEC Open Networks is a very comprehensive set of uh, infrastructure solutions uh, that encompass uh, RAN products, uh, 4G, 5G core, uh, automation solutions, and last but not the least, um, extensive portfolio systems integration services to allow carriers to deploy open 5G networks, as well as create opportunities to monetize those networks. Um, NEC has been a champion of open networking for several years, and this started back when SDN first came into the industry. Uh, and then we followed that up with uh, early products in NFV. And now we see the same opportunity in RAN uh, with Open RAN. So NEC Open Networks is a, uh, a set of solutions that again allows carriers to uh, deploy truly open networks and create new business models to monetize that investment. So why has NEC decided to become such a strong advocate for Open RAN? And what are some of the things you're doing to help drive Open RAN adoption? RAN is a significant part of the overall network spend. And with Open RAN, now carriers have the opportunity to create networks that are composed of best of breed uh, solution components. And what this is doing is opening up new avenues for uh, business value creation, new business models. We're seeing this as really a driver for innovation, both in the carrier industry, as well as in the enterprise and government markets. So for us, Open RAN is again, a continuation of our uh, commitment to open networking, which as I mentioned before, started with SDN, when we introduced the world's first uh, open flow based controller. Uh, we followed that up with the world's first virtual EPC. And now we followed that up with deploying the world's first massive MIMO radios in Japan for a, a dense urban and uh, citywide and countrywide network. So for us, it is a commitment to open networking. It is the opportunity to create new business models. It is the opportunity to uh, essentially change uh, society uh, because we're seeing 5G networks being deployed across multiple verticals and NEC is driving uh, much of those use cases or many of those use cases across several industries. Uh, in terms of our activities to support Open RAN, we're working on a number of uh, different avenues. So one of the key components is security in Open RAN. And we're working with leading providers like NTT uh, to create technologies around a trusted network. We are creating an open ecosystem of partners that would accelerate innovation in the industry. And last but not the least, we're investing very heavily in systems integration capability to be able to uh, deploy these large and complex uh, networks with best, best of breed components. And after so many years of focusing its telco business almost exclusively on the Japanese market, why is NEC now expanding and registering success in global markets, especially Europe? Yeah, that's a great question, Ray. Um, we see Open RAN as the great equalizer. And what we're seeing is that customers and countries are looking for 
trusted network of vendors. Uh, we, countries are looking to uh, address many of the uh, social objectives that they have, such as uh, crossing the digital divide. And so they're looking at 5G networks and open 5G networks as potential solutions to solve those issues and achieve those objectives. Um, NEC has been and continues to be a strong proponent of open networking. And we're working with the likes of the UK government, for example, uh, in creating uh, solutions around uh, covering the digital divide. We're working with more recently the New South Wales government in Australia around testing new concepts for reducing the cost of open networks. And so there are just examples uh, where we're working with carriers and countries around achieving their objectives. And one of the key parts why NEC has been successful has been our uh, strong expertise and investment in systems integration. So uh, as these networks are deployed, uh, there are still pretty significant requirements for a systems integrator, for a network integrator to put these solutions together. Uh, and that's where NEC has been selected by the likes of Telefonica uh, to help with such deployments. And do you see Open RAN adoption increasing? And how can it help to drive digital transformation in the telco industry? We're certainly seeing an increased adoption of Open RAN. Uh, I think as of last count, there were 61 operators that are trialing Open RAN. Uh, there's a number of uh, tip block fests that are happening uh, across, I think, seven different global locations. Uh, there's an ecosystem of over 60, 65 companies that are supporting Open RAN. So clearly, Open RAN is achieving its objectives, which is to spur innovation, to spur competition uh, in this market. Uh, what we see is Open RAN is just one of the components that's driving digital transformation. Uh, a couple of the other key themes include cloudification and certainly uh, network automation. And what this is driving is, again, new opportunities for carriers to monetize their network in the enterprise market. So I think 5G is probably the first G that uh, really requires a strong business case in the enterprise verticals and not just based on the consumer markets. And we're, we're certainly seeing that in Japan where we're working on uh, almost 20 different POCs across different industries, whether it's healthcare, whether it's uh, heavy industry, uh, whether it's stadiums, whether it's AR, VR technology. There's a number of new business models and opportunities that are coming up in the enterprise sector uh, that drives innovation in the society and it creates new revenue opportunities for carriers. So we certainly see a strong correlation between Open RAN and some of the other enabling technologies and the digital transformation of carriers as well as of uh, society at large. And last but not the least, some of these technologies are also enabling uh, social objectives such as carbon footprint reduction and energy efficiency. So we start to see increasing focus around those social objectives that uh, these technologies can enable. So uh, as you mentioned, Rahul, there's uh, lots of different companies involved in the open RAN sector. Uh, what makes NEC different from the other large multinational firms that are serving this market? Yeah, that's a great question again, Ray. Um, what differentiates NEC is, first of all, our uh, very strong continuing commitment to open networking. And what we've done is, and we continue to do, is invest heavily in creating an, uh, an ecosystem of partners that can be leveraged in this new infrastructure. Um, what we continue to do is invest very heavily in systems integration capability to be able to put these solutions and these network architectures together. Uh, we continue to uh, invest and shape standards, uh, whether it's working alongside TIP or ORAN Alliance or with uh, industry bodies such as ORPC. Um, and finally, I think network security continues to be an increasingly uh, important aspect of network evolution. And 
NEC has been working with the likes of NTT in creating solutions around trusted networks uh, to make sure that these open networks are actually more secure than what we have seen in the past. And ultimately what it comes down to is uh, the fact that we really see ourselves and customers see NEC as, as uh, really one of the, the, the true champions of open networks. And so we are bringing a number of solutions in this architecture, but by no means are we uh, promoting only NEC products and solutions. What we're doing is creating an ecosystem and enabling choice uh, for our carriers and for our customers. And so that really is a key differentiator for NEC uh, and for our carriers worldwide. Okay, well, I mean, it's absolutely clear from what we're hearing that there's great attraction amongst the global operator community uh, with OpenRAN and that those operators are looking for companies that have the insight and experience that can help them as they plan their OpenRAN rollouts. That's correct, Ray. And NEC is uh, really the truly open uh, networking solutions provider. We're not providing an end to end verticalized stack and that's what really what makes us radically open uh, and that's what is resonating with our customers yeah absolutely I, I can see that for sure we can see the the influence that nec is having in the global open ran sector so thanks very much for joining us today rahul and look forward to speaking with you again in the future thank you so much ray looking forward to it as well